Mining engineering, right? Yeah, you too? Absolutely. I'm Russ. Ethan, nice to meet you. You look a bit uncertain. Yeah, you said it. But you seem optimistic. Yeah. Giant machinery, mad calculations, big responsibility. Being part of the highest earning sectors in the country, what's not to like? You make a valid point. Come. I would like to welcome you to the University of Witwatersrand School of Mining Engineering. In recent years, we have been receiving well in excess of 2,500 applications for a mere 150 places that are available every year. Not only is the degree in high demand, it is also very demanding. Despite it being a four-year degree, some of you may find the first six years being very difficult. I always love a good welcome speech. So, for the next four or more years, prepare yourselves for a lot of hard work. You will get to design your own mine on the best mining software. You will be lectured to by the finest academics. Our degree is accredited by the Engineering Council of South Africa following the Washington Accord guidelines. What this means is that once you graduate with a degree from Vitz Mining, you have immediate access to work in several countries around the world. I'm pleased to announce that we have also built our own mine, which you will find in the basement of the Chamber of Mines building, and you will get to work in it during your studies. Once again, I welcome you to Vitz Mining and wish you all the best with your studies. When you study mining engineering, you get to have a background knowledge of all the other engineering fields. And the other interesting thing is that, unlike most jobs, with mining engineering, you never know what you're going to do when you wake up in the morning and go to work. During vacation, we all go to different mines and do different uh, projects. So when we come back after vacation, we share different experiences and what to experience on our mines. You don't only get to know what's happening in your mind, but you also get to see what other mines are experiencing too. I always made arches out of yeah. Legos, you know? Very weird. Is this seat taken? Oh, it's you guys. Yes, it's us. Please sit. Thank you. I'm Ross. Hi, Ethan. Nope, too loud. Ethan and I were just discussing why we're studying mining engineering. Mm -hmm. I said it's because uh, I grew up with Lego. I like technical stuff. Ethan's only studying it because his parents say that there's guaranteed work in the mining sector. Oh, and the pay is good. So what brings you here? I want to be part of the lifeblood of our economy. Wow, big answer, but what do you mean? Well, the mining sector is for responsible people, not children. When mining runs smoothly, then the economy runs smoothly. And when the economy runs smooth, the employment rates run smooth. So basically, everyone is happy. Wow. I didn't expect that as an answer. I'm a final year mining engineering student. World economies have shown that they revolve around mining, thus making mining engineering degree a world recognized degree. I had my doubts about studying this course, but after a day here, yeah, I'm actually feeling pretty optimistic. Mining engineering is a high profile job, which is cool. We're going to be working with some impressive machinery. I've always liked math, so I don't know why I was uncertain. I've made friends with Ross and Noctula. I get the feeling we're going to be close for a long time. We want to know how strong rocks are. This is the rock we are going to test today. What we are going to do, we are going to apply compressive forces and carry on increasing those forces until a stage the rock fails. So at the moment of failure, this rock is going to explode. That moment is going to let us know the compressive breaking strength. Making stuff explode. <laughs> I love it. First year mining engineering students take up basic science courses. Mathematics, physics, mechanics, chemistry, and engineering drawing being the major ones. At the second year, they carry on taking science courses. At the second year onwards, we also start introducing more and more mining subjects. Excavation engineering and 
mine survey. In mining industry, most of the time we use drilling and blasting to excavate the rock. But when the conditions are suitable, means when the rock is softer, then we use mechanical rock cutting. With this machine, we simulate the conditions when the cutting tools actually interacting with the rock, so we measure the forces. So we call this mechanical rock cutting. Well, that's cool. Not as cool as making stuff explode. That's cool. <laughs> At the third year, we teach uh, more mining-related subjects, like mining methods, uh, mine transportation, ventilation, and rock engineering-related subjects. And the fourth year, they actually deepen their subjects. They do a full mine design, uh, starting from all about the modeling to financial analysis at the end. The School of Mining organizes buzzer interviews for students throughout the year. But most importantly, we as the School of Mining, we assign mentors who are lecturers and assist you to make contacts with the industry. Yes, Noctula? My roommate didn't budget for more than her school fees, so she's been kind of sponging off me, borrowing my textbooks, eating my food. She's even sharing her bed with another student who didn't think of accommodation before they got here. So what can I do to help her? Unfortunately, there are cases like this, but uh, Students who come to study and do not have financial means do not last for a long in the system. What you can do is to advise your friend to apply for a bazari. We've got an organization called Humia, which is run from the school. That is actually our link to the industry. And that link actually assists us to help those students who do not have bazaris. We organize interviews for them from different companies. I'm loving it here. Mining engineering is actually quite thrilling and WITS is probably the best place in Africa to study it. I'm excited for next year when we get to work in an actual mine tunnel that they have built at WITS. Wow, next year is only two months away. Time really does fly when you're having fun. Looking at the fault of the mapping cutting across the tunnel, we can see the dip is about 70 degrees, which also creates a weak area over there. Yes, and judging from the joints, we need roof boards here, here, there, and there, and wire mesh. Don't forget the lacing. That goes without saying. For extra measures, we can just put up steel arches from there until there, just like those over there. Then we sort it on safety. We're going to ace this report. I still can't believe you're in an actual mine tunnel. Who would have said we're at first? Here at WITS, we've got great facilities that will enable you to do your research and we also have excellent supervisors. As a result, we've attracted a lot of international students from countries such as Zimbabwe, Mozambique, Ghana, Nigeria and even the UK. The type of work a new graduate could expect to undertake would be to go on the ground, really working with operational teams and understanding the core challenges and opportunities that exist in that environment. After graduating, you can expect to work in production where you'll be hands-on underground with the miners, supervising or extraction. A mining engineer could decide to either take the technical route or a corporate route. You can choose to specialize in one of three fields, which are production, mineral resource management, health, safety and the environment. In a more technical environment, a mining engineer would experience more mine design work, do a lot of feasibility studies, a lot of cost analysis type work. You could even decide to go into a more of a corporate environment where to understand really the more corporate business issues that exist in that environment. These are high profile, high responsibility jobs that are very rewarding. At the end of the month, you get a really good salary and that's a very big positive for me.